What's going on, everybody? I hope you are having a phenomenal evening. Today, we're once again going to be trying something new. I've never done this before, but I keep seeing different baits utilizing the method we're going to be using today popping up. I've been thinking about it all week long. Got home, find one chrome blank left. This is the only chrome blank that I have. In order to use the method that we're going to be doing today, need a chrome blank. So this video, I will not be doing a giveaway since I don't have any more of these blanks, but I have an idea that requires a different style of blank. So the winner for the last video's giveaway is posted right here. No giveaway on this one, but I promise I'll make it up to you on the next video. I hope you guys are ready to sit back, relax, and watch me try to figure out how to do this. <laughs> well, let's not waste any more time talking and we'll jump into painting this bait. So as I'd already said, we're going to be using a chrome blank. And as far as prepping this bait goes, one thing we're going to be doing is taking some masking tape. I'm going to try to get some vertical stripes. We're gonna tape off the chrome and paint over top of them. So the tape is gonna stay there during the entire duration of us painting. And then we'll peel it off at the end to reveal the nice shiny chrome underneath. Now I'm trying to get them to be kind of a tapered triangle is my goal. Kind of like the stripes we did on the last video. And I think that right there is what I'm looking for. And I'm also going to try to get them to kind of get skinnier the further down the side of the bait we go. Like, I've never done this before. So if you guys have and I'm doing something wrong, make sure to let me know in the comments. So I'm just going to sit here and peel tape till I get what I'm looking for. And I don't really know what I'm looking for. So it might be a minute. I recommend if you try this for the first time, just cutting the tape to the shape that you want. I was trying to get it to be like nice jagged edges, which I think I did get, but it was kind of a pain if you're gonna be painting a lot of them. First color I'm gonna be starting off with is an iridescent red. We're gonna take this red and we're gonna spray it all along the bottom here and up on the gill plate. And then we're going to transition it into our next color. I'm going to also cover the entire bottom of the bait in the red as well. Okay, we're going to call it good right there on that color. I'm gonna clean out the airbrush and then we're going to be switching over to an iridescent turquoise. We're basically going to cover everything that's still chrome and then try to fade it into that iridescent red as lightly as we can. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. I'm going to hit this with the hair dryer and then we're going to put on a stencil. You can see that little bit of purple up there, but it's kind of an interesting color, how it changes colors. So we might have to do something with that in the future on another bait. Stencil I'm going to be using blew away with the hair dryer. Uh, oh, there it is. And it's like this ribbon mesh netting. So I'm gonna get that clamped on there nice and tight. Huh, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I'm sure everybody does this. I think I know what I wanna do color wise, but then when I go to do it, I start second guessing. We're going to be using the black at the end. And I was thinking about doing just solid blue over top of it, but I really feel like we could add another color in there. I kinda want it to fade from one color to another. So maybe what we'll do I was talking about that purple. I've got this iridescent violet, which is a beautiful color. So maybe we'll fade from purple in the front to blue in the back. In which case I'm gonna start with the purple. And I think probably the easiest way to do this is just going to be covering the whole bait in the purple. And then we'll come back and take our blue from the back up as far as we want it on the bait. I'm going to hit this with the hairdryer and then we'll do a second coat. And I don't know if I showed this or not, but it is the electric blue. And I'm going to start at the back being a solid blue and kind of fade it up towards the top a little bit. I always feel unprepared because I am, I guess, whenever I don't have an exact plan for a video. But I hope you guys enjoy these where you get to kind of uh, 
follow my thought process as I'm painting these. Anyways, going to go ahead and start spraying the blue. Let's take off the stencil pattern and see what we got. There's a very cool looking colors all dancing around there. There's all kinds of things happen there. I do think once that clear coat goes on, it's gonna really make those colors pop. Last thing we're going to do is load up some black in the airbrush. I'm going to very, very carefully take the black and try to spray right down the center of where my tape lines are. That way that overspray goes on the bait and most of the black will stay there. Probably also gonna hit the eyes and the back just a little bit like I always do. Okay, I'm going to darken up the back just a smidge. Going to hit it with the hair dryer and then we will take it off and see if I did this right or if we just have a weird looking bait. I do really hope that the clear coat helps separate all those other colors. It looks cool, but it also looks really messy to me. When the light hits that chrome different though, ooh. Okay, it's growing on me a little bit. Let's get the other side cleared off. And there you go. I think the clear coat is gonna be our saving grace here. So I'm going to go ahead and spray the back just a little bit more with the black. It's kind of help hide where that tape was. Okay, so the eyes that I really wanted to use are these guys. They're just like the solid ones, no iris or anything in there, uh, but they're way too small. So it'd look really goofy. Uh, so what you guys are going to get is these guys right here. They're just a solid red eye the black center, which I think will do just fine. There we have it. My first ever taped off chrome, I don't know what you call it, bait. Whenever the light hits it certain ways, it really, really looks cool. So I think once that clear coat's on there, uh, it should look pretty sharp. It'll help really brighten up all those other colors. So you guys let me know if you think this bait looks cool or if, if I absolutely messed it up. If you don't like it, you can go ahead and throw a poo emoji in the comments below. If you do like it and you wanna see more, make sure to let me know. Like I said at the very beginning, I have another idea that I think will look pretty cool, but I gotta get the blanks ordered for it. So I'll definitely do another Chrome video unless there's more poo comments than no poo comments. And <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna put some clear coat on this. Hopefully it'll look a little bit better. And then we'll take a look at what she looks like all finished up.